So I might be going crazy, not sure yet. I just have decided that I, hi Jack. I wanna try crocheting for 24 hours straight. So I obviously need to make something for 24 hours. So I'm thinking, I, I really just don't wanna think that much. Like I just want to go and not think a pattern and try things on. Like I rather just like crochet my heart away and see how far I get. So that being said, I'm thinking, we're gonna make a granny square blanket. But before I start, it's 11.09. So I'm gonna stop tomorrow at 11.09. If you guys watched my video a couple weeks ago where I crocheted a sweater vest, you might have saw at the beginning of the video where I told you story time about how I came up with that video idea. And I know no one really cared about that, but I decided today I'd like to do that again because kind of similar story because in that story, I told you guys I was in the hospital because I was very sick on my birthday. Well, for fortunately, I finished my prescriptions of antibiotics on Friday and then by Monday morning I was sick again and I was back in the hospital because they misdiagnosed me so um yeah I'm coming up with this video again where I kind of just want to be chill this is probably not the best video to do considering I should be resting and I should be recovering um, being that um, I'm on my second round of antibiotics, but I thought hey if I'm just sitting here crocheting That's technically resting. Anyways end of story. They misdiagnosed me. They don't know what happened I have an infection an infection of something they don't know so they gave me some extra strength antibiotics this time to hopefully kill it and I'm just you know praying that next Tuesday when I'm done my antibiotics that I'm not sick first round done hasn't even been an hour yet and I already need a snack. So it's been one hour. I know, embarrassing, embarrassing! Honestly, I have no idea how big this blanket's gonna be. Like, either I'm gonna have a nice little spread that I can switch on my bed, or I'm gonna have a nice little blanket for Jack. Also, if you're wondering why Jack has a sweater on, he keeps licking his rash and this is the only way I got him to stop licking was put clothes on him. He's not very happy with me. So I've officially gotten the blanket to a decent size where I actually have to calculate how much yarn I'm going to need to actually go one whole way around the square because I just used this white and I ran out. I got like three quarters. I think I have a white that's kind of similar so hopefully we just won't see that but I think we're officially past the point or we're, mm, no this is not a baby blanket. We're getting close to a baby blanket. Let's see if it fits you Jack. Oh, so handsome. We made it to a jack size blanket. Do you go pee? Do you go side? Come on, let's go. The doggies, the boys, the dogs, my, my dogs, my, my boy dogs, they have peed now. So now is my turn to take care of myself. I'm gonna walk down to the grocery store and go get some food because um, I have don't got much food here. The amount of pizzas I have eaten lately is, or it should be a little concerning. For some reason, I'm just like really addicted to pizza lately and um, I can't stop. I can't stop. I go to the grocery store, try to buy lunch, and then I'm like, hey, I should work smarter, not harder, and get dinner while I'm here so I don't have to leave and then I can focus on crocheting. So obviously the easiest thing to make is a pizza. It's my favorite food. But for lunch, I actually got like a healthy vegetable bowl. I got carrots too, don't worry. So 
that bowl didn't revive me as much as I was hoping, but uh, it did something. Like, I'm not, I'm not hungry anymore. So I have my crochet blanket. The time is still ticking. Like, my 24 hours is still going. So I'm just, I just got to get back into it. There's no naps. There's no breaks. There's no nothing for me. Even though a nap right now sounds, it sounds really incredible right now, but not going to happen until tomorrow. So it is wet outside right now, which personally, I wouldn't be super excited about that, but I am super excited about that right now because today's video is sponsored by Vessi. And if you guys have not heard of Vessi before, they are this amazing Canadian company that makes these waterproof sneakers. So back in 2018, that is when I got my first pair of Vessi sneakers. And they're honestly essential for me because I like to walk my dogs multiple times a day and I also live in a temperate rainforest. So personally, I like to keep my toes nice and dry. Other things I love about Bessie. One, they're like walking on clouds. They're very comfy. Two, they're very lightweight. And three, easy to clean. But because it is wet outside and I live near an ocean, let me just show you that they're waterproof. Okay, we made it to the water. So now I'm just gonna get these completely wet. Look at that, they're completely dry. Not wet at all. So, if you guys want to try out Vessi and get your own pair of waterproof sneakers, I have a link down below in the description you guys can use. You can get the weekend sneaker, the shoe I got, or there's a ton of different styles on the website. Also, be sure to use my code JennaFips at checkout and you'll get 15% off your order. So, it's been seven hours and I'm kind of embarrassed to show you guys what I have. I feel like after seven hours I should have more, but I just have this. Like for starters, I'm really happy with how it's looking. Like I like the color palette. I like how it's turning out. So the blankets, you know, looking A1 fantastic. But the one thing I am not so stoked on is, I just wish there was like way more. Like this doesn't even cover the top of me. Like this is not a blanket whatsoever. Jack just peed on my bed. Jack. Well, good thing I'm not sleeping tonight, Jack, because you peed all over my comforter. Just gotta make a new blanket now. So both my dog's bladders are drained now, so I should be good for a few more hours before I have to take them out again. But for the meantime, I am just gonna really focus. I'm just sitting here on my bed, just looking as the sun goes down and just trying to focus for a few hours because I feel like that seven hour progress I showed you guys is not a good representation of what I could do in seven hours. So I really feel like I need to start picking up the pace and uh, start pulling my weight because it's gonna be really embarrassing if I like finish this after 24 hours and fits a toddler. Honestly, the last couple hours kind of just like flew by. It's already 7 30, almost 7 30. Pizza time. I'm just very excited for this pizza. I feel like this pizza will give me the little oomph I needed that I didn't get at lunchtime. So, gorgeous pizza. That's a lot of cheese. Mm. 
it's 11 o'clock so it's been 12 hours since i started crocheting this blanket this morning and unfortunately the work or the quality of the work has gone down significantly this past couple hours so I have reevaluated myself and taken in consideration that I'm not a night person, which I should have at the beginning, um, and decided I'm going to cut it for tonight. I'm not going to try to go through the whole night because if I do, I probably just sleep. I probably just sleep and no work would get done and it'd be just kind of a waste of time. And I really want to give this like a real great effort and see how much I can do in 24 hours. So I'm thinking I wake up tomorrow morning and finish the rest of the 12 hours tomorrow. Can you hear my washer? My dryer? My, my, okay. My covers, my duvet. You know, the, the thing that Jack peed on yesterday? Yeah, still not dry, so I didn't have a blanket last night. It was kind of a little chilly, um, but I survived. We survived, um, but it's still in the dryer and I had to turn it back on, so. Anyways, next day, next 12 hours, we are halfway through this blanket. Look at this. I don't know, I'm, I feel like yesterday, you know, pretty good start, but I feel like today I can really get down and dirty even more. So I'm really hoping that it progresses a lot more because right now this is a baby blanket. And um, like I said, I do not want to end up with a baby blanket. So what time is it? 10.26. I'm going to go until 10.26 tonight now. I've been getting a little hungry and slowly gotten smaller on my pizza. Sweet. No. Okay, I need to switch up my position because I can't just sit at the table. I watched Finish Twilight and then I just watched New Moon and it's now I think 2? It's 2.12. I swear I've made like no progress. I I think I started with the white here. Like I've only done a few rows so far. Like it is slow once you get out this big. So I, I honestly don't know how much progress I'm gonna make from you know this to the very end. But I don't know. Eclipse, 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 eclipse. Oh man. Oh man. Riley's back in town. Oh man. Who is there? Who is there? Is it Victoria? It's Victoria. Okay, I'm just gonna watch this by myself now. So I have five hours left, exactly five hours left into this 24 hour challenge. So I'm at the 19 hour mark and I'm gonna show you guys the blanket, show you kind of, you know, my 19 hour mark. And then after that, I'm not gonna show you until the 24 hours is done. But before I get into that, I do wanna share a little update. I'm going to Alaska this summer. I decided that because some signs just told me, they're like, you should just go to Alaska. So I'm planning a trip to go to Alaska. I don't know what I'm going to do there or if I'm gonna be going by myself or with someone. I just know this August, I'm headed to Alaska. So if you guys have some ideas what I should do in Alaska, let me know. Show you the blanket now. Ta-da. You would expect it to be a lot bigger at the 19 hour mark. Like I've been working on this for 19 hours and it barely goes around me. Like I really have to stretch it to really cover me. So we definitely still haven't made it to the teenager phase. We might be in the preteen, you know, size, but not quite there. We're still kind of kids preteens. So I'm hoping I can get at least to the teens, you know, size tonight. And then I can keep working on it later. Cause eventually I want this to be like ginormous, like a king size bed. But I guess that will probably take like years. Also, if you're curious to know if my wrists, my hands, everything hurts after crocheting for 19 hours straight. Yes. They do. Mm -hmm. It is 
six, I have exactly an hour and 20 minutes left of this 24 hour crochet challenge, which that's not very much. I actually, hmm. I'm crocheting something this big and honestly it's a little difficult with two dogs because I have two dogs that want to go under the blanket or on the blanket and you can't I have to I'm I gotta keep moving this I legit just finished this round and it's 10 26 I have officially done 24 hours of crocheting for this blanket so <laughs> I'm gonna sleep so I am prepared mentally and physically recovered from 24 hours of crocheting. So that means it is time to finally show you the grand reveal of how much I actually crocheted in 24 hours. And honestly, I was thinking I wasn't gonna be impressed with myself, but honestly, I am very impressed with myself because this is actually a decent amount, which I don't know. It, it, yeah, so it looks doesn't look like that much for legit 24 hours, but here it is. Huh? Like, that's pretty big, right? If we go and wrap it around, we, we can do the wrap test. Pretty much a blanket. Look at that! <laughs> that's actually not too bad. I actually can wrap it all the way around. Like, it's not perfect. I wish it was a tad bit bigger, but hey, we made a preteen blanket in 24 hours, 48, or, you know, being logistical here, but anyways, here it is. I'm actually pretty happy with the color palette. I think it turned out quite nice, even though I really did not have a plan. I just kind of randomized it. Um, I definitely think I'm going to keep working on this because I do want it slightly bigger, and I think I'm going to use this as, like, a throw on my couch because I don't really like my blankets, so this is a nice upgrade. Okay, I'm gonna go. Have a great rest of your day, and I'll see you guys in my next video. Bye.